we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get... They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks, swing, folks. Look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. Wait, we're wanted men. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't late. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Ah! Nerve, both of you! <laughs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't... Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Keeper, will you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. To help, my friend. Arthur, chase wanted man uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Yeah. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. No. Will you relax? We're not losing. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Move up, David. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuk too? That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. 
So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Drake? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. You pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Posted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market. And Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no. Was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, how are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding. Start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Could you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves to preach? You hear this? Win Holmes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please. I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee you, Because I'm gonna get that money out of you. I gotta squeeze you like a lemon. It's coming out. Yeah. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. It's your damn money. It is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. 
Thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. <sighs> Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> you got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here. Prepare to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob. We must. Leading me alive. This is Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but it's kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sort of a artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. You are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like easy pickings. As long as we get paid or... You get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man. Eve in gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gentlemen. What about this old crap? Huh? Think. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for pissing what, what off. What are you doing? That's, that's my... They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligator? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of... Beating my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose <laughs> really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. 
Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> oh, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. After you, then. Yeah. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> You should have taken the money. I know. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Mr. Morgan! I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, uh, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got... Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... Ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the... So, tell me again about this big can't-go-wrong plan of yours. So, I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. But he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself. And don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? 
No good. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. Dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. Oh, <laughs> my